In today's Gibbscam Tech Tip, we're going to show you how to use a new toolpath starting in Gibbscam version 13 that is solely dedicated to deburring simple and complex parts in 3, 4, and 5 axis mode. As you can see here, this machine is a 5 axis machine, and we're deburring this pipe in 5 axis mode. In the second operation, you're going to see three axis mode deburring of the top hole. And then we're going to go back and show you how to do this yourself. And again, this tech tip, like all other Gibbs Cam tech tips, is designed to make life easier for you, to make your parts better quality, and to make you more money. So let's look at the toolpath straight away. This is the three axis toolpath. On the options tab, we set our feed, speed, and depth of cut, and machining coordinate system. Because this is a dedicated toolpath, it is a much simpler toolpath with a lot less parameters that you need to feed, fill out. It is a deburring toolpath where we get to select the part surfaces the user defined edges, the type of edge shape, whether it's constant width or constant depth. In this particular case, I chose constant width of 20 thousandths so that you could see it. And of course, we're going to climb mill this surface. In tool axis control, we're simply going to select three axis. And in the link tab, we're going to set the clearance area to automatic and to clearance blend spline. We'll talk more about clearance blend spline in just a little bit. If you have seen our video about clearance volumes, you will understand how clearance blend spline works. So let's look at this toolpath now since we just created it. Let's look at just operation one. So this is a three axis deburring toolpath for the inside of that pipe. And as you can see, it uses the lollipop tool or it can use a ball end mill. Now let's step ahead and look at the five axis toolpath and how we created it. It was just as simple as the three axis toolpath where we picked the surface paths, the part surfaces, the edge definition. We can pick edges to exclude and the tool axis in this case is five axis simultaneous. We can also damp the rotary axis. In other words, I told it not to exceed a tilt angle of greater than 30 degrees. And on the link tab, we still selected clearance blend spline. So let's watch this tool path run in five axis mode. I've got it set in split screen so that you can see the part on the left and the machine on the right so that you can see all of the machine specific movements. So what we just showed you was the new deburring toolpath in Gibbs Cam version 13 and we showed you how simple it was because it is a single purpose dedicated toolpath. We want you to know that your reseller is behind you and is ready to help you at any time. And this and all Gibbs Cam Tech Tips are designed to make your job easier. So call your local reseller to find out how they can help you.